Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of Architects 3D Printing. Today I'm gonna show you how you can get Ultimaker Cura both for macOS and Windows and absolutely free. We're gonna start in macOS and we will go to our favorite web browser and we will navigate to ultimaker.com. Here we will go to products, software and we will click on Ultimaker Cura. Here we have the last version of Ultimaker Cura, that is Ultimaker Cura 3.2.1 for macOS. We're gonna click in download for free. I don't want to share my information and download. The software is 66 megs, so it's quite fast as you can see. And once it's downloaded, we will open the DMG file and now we just have to drag and drop the file into our applications folder. Now we're gonna see the process in Windows. For Windows we will do the same, we will open our web browser and we will go to ultimaker.com. Now here in products we'll do as before, products, software, Ultimaker Cura. This time it recognized the version for Windows. It's Ultimaker Cura 3.2.1 and we are gonna click on download for free. And I don't wanna share my information and download. We're gonna save the file. This time is 107 megabytes, so it's bigger than for Mac. And here we have it. Now we're gonna open it and the assistant will start. So next, okay, next, 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 and it will begin the installation. In Windows it takes a little bit longer than with Mac, but don't worry. Add a fruit, we will click install. Again, again, and the installation is complete. We are going to click on finish and we will open Ultimaker Cura. So after closing the explorer it will open the software. We will hit on I understand and here you have to choose your printer. In my case I don't have any brand printer since it's a Chinese clone, but I'm gonna choose other and I will go to Prusa i3 MK2 and we will hit add printer. Here we can change the name, so we're gonna put CTC Prusa i3. Now we have our printer configured. Here are your printers, you can add more or change them, and here are the materials. As a basic configuration, I'm just gonna change the print volume according to my printer, since it is not the original Prusa i3 MK2. So I'm gonna go to Settings, Printer, Manage Printers, and here I'm gonna click in Machine Settings. The real sizes of my printer are 191 millimeters in the x-axis, 205 in the y-axis, and the height is 200 millimeters. We have a heat bed, that's okay. Here we're gonna do a quick change, because when it finishes the print, it will bring the nozzle to the X0Y210, we are gonna put Y0. Now the extruder, we have a 0.4 millimeters nozzle and we are using 1.75 millimeters filament. So that's perfect. We'll close it. And here we have our real print volume. Now you can just use the recommended settings or add your custom ones. If you want an in-depth tutorial, of the custom settings in Cura, you just have to let me know in the comment section 
and I will upload some of them. Alright guys, so that was everything for this quick video. I hope you liked it, so please hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as follow us on Twitter or Instagram at architects3dp to be notified when a new video is uploaded. You can also consider to support us on Patreon to keep making these videos possible. Today we also want to give a special thanks to Haider Jaward for being our first Patreon supporter. Thank you Haider, and finally see you guys in the next video.